Okay, so uh, Alex, take it away. All right, cool. Um, can you hear me now, or do I need a mic? No. no. All right, cool. So uh, just a few minutes to present you uh, a new feature we're adding into our API. So it's, uh, it's pretty new. Uh, just a quick summary for the one who doesn't know Algolia or uh, what we're focusing on. Uh, we are a hosted search API, and of course, we are focused on uh, relevance, speed, and also uh, user experience. So if I search, for example, for a product here, I can see that results get refreshed in real time. But in addition to all those products, I'll also get uh, what we call facets, which are actually used as filters, and those are refreshed and contextualized. Um, so that's a great feature because it helps the user not just searching for something, but also browsing. Uh, I don't have to know in advance the categories or the brands or the type. I can just discover it, discover it as a filter or as a search. Um, so that's already exists for a long time from day one uh, in our API. Um, you can already, uh, for day one as well, display as many as you want. So of course, in terms of uh, UI and UX, we recommend you not displaying a list of 100. Um, some people do, they do scrolling. Uh, a better uh, best practice is to actually do show more. So you display maybe five, 10, and then you have show more, but it's still limited. Um, and when it comes to use cases like on, um, on LinkedIn, uh, where you may want to search for someone, so let's search for Matt. And then you know that that Matt works in a company um, let's say it works at Facebook. So here we get a, a quick overview of the companies which are the most represented in that current set of results, but unfortunately for me, Facebook is not there. So what they offer here is a small feature where I can actually search for Facebook, and then I will be able to refine my set of data based on that new filter. Um, and it's actually what we adding today to our API. So uh, I'm glad to present um, that new feature, which we call uh, search for facet values, and which the purpose is to be able to search among the different facet values available for a given context of search. Um, so once again, it's something very unique. Um, even our competitors are not doing it today. Um, so let's say here I search TV, and I can search for LG. And what makes it really unique is that you don't search among all the values, all the brands here. You just search among the ones that are available for that given context of search. So if I would have been searching for something that doesn't exist, it tells me that it doesn't exist. So here it takes into account also type of terms. So it exists, but can go further, it doesn't exist. Um, so that's just one way to use it. Um, but there is also multiple w other ways to use it. Um, like here, um, that will enable us to, um, to provide you uh, with great guides to build um, Pinterest-like experiences where you type one keyword and then you get suggested the other keywords based on the first one. Or the kind of experience like on Slack where you can type from and then you get to search from all the, the users or you can search for dates or you can search for categories. So that's just the beginning. And um, as Josh said, those features are already available in our API clients and SDK on both desktop and mobile, uh, including in all the libraries we provide. And um, in the next coming weeks, we're going to come with more guides and resources for you to play with. So yeah, thank you, guys. Hey, thank you, Alex.